My hair is growing. That's item number one for this sit down chit chat video. Look at this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see what's all this? What's all this? This, what you I always forget what it's called. That mix, that water mixture that I showed you in my last vlog. It's working, you <laughs> And yes, I whipped my hair after so long. You guys, you already know how much it pains me. Like, it hurts when I make my hair. Even when I was making it. Shout out to my sister-in-law, by the way. If you live in Houston and if you need someone to make hair, but don't look at my own. Don't look at this to dodge. Do not use this to dodge. Because me, before you do like this, <laughs> my neck has rushed forward. Like... It hurts to get my hair done. And she was just laughing. She was she was very gentle, but she was so amused by how tender-headed I am. So, yeah. But anyway, my standard did this, but she makes hair. She lives in Houston. So if you want her contact, DM me or, you know, send me an email or something. Whichever one works for you. And I'll get it to you. But, yeah, even when she was making my hair, she was like... It's good. It's like working because the hair, the new hair that's growing out, you know, and I pop, I purposely it in jelly because I wanted to be able to show you the new hair that's growing out. It's full. It's not like sparse or like scattered all over or anything like that. I like how my, there's a way my face comes out. My mom says it in your robot that, Ojue, oh my, yo, <laughs> like my, my face just like, boom, whenever I, get like newly done um all back <laughs> or hairstyle or something so i got my hair done i got my nails done okay same style same, but, you know once i find something that works for me i just stick to it like i don't i don't mess with it i just stick to it so yeah baby nails done i'm feeling myself and most importantly Guess who sent me a new batch of perfumes? Dacier. Okay, shout out to Dacier. I love, see, I don't need to talk too much. I love Dacier perfumes just because of how, like, there we go. Look at that. Look at this. These are some of the empties that I have. And, like, they're almost finished. So this new set that I just got is just perfect timing and i just love how they smell they're very gentle the smells and they're replicas of some of your favorite scents this is the one i'm most ex excited to try from this new set because of the red color <laughs> golden rum and amber okay let's do it Oh, that smells so sweet. I knew it was going to smell good. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to smell good. Look at that. It smells so good. It smells yummy. It smells tasty. Does that make sense? I hope it does. It smells like, you know, like tasty, something delicious. And they said it's, it's a part of the Speak Easy collection. I'll put the links to all the items down in the description box and to Dusty as well. Go shop their products. Their perfumes are affordable, okay? So if you have like favorite, favorite designer perfumes, you'd find something similar most likely on Dusty's website and you can just try them out. This one is the Floral Pear, okay? Mm, this one is a bit spicy. Yeah, this one has a like a spicy smell to it. This is the one I'll probably give my husband because it, it's more like a masculine smell. And it's the floral. I don't know why they wrote floral pear, but um, it smells like a bit, not minty, but spicy. Okay, let's check the last one. The third one. That I got is the fruity brown sugar. I have a feeling this one is going to be sweet because you have a combination of fruity and sugar in it. So I'm expecting a sweet smell. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. That's the name. 
that's the name right there fruity brown sugar of the three the golden rum and amber is the one i'm most excited to try check out that sale for your perfumes okay and get that discount so right there are so many scents and flavors that you can choose from but i would highly recommend the golden rum and amber or the amber uh cherry oh this is another favorite of mine the amber cherry you can see i love it because see it's almost finished <laughs> it's almost finished i love the amber cherry so anything that you see that has amber on it you just buy it you most probably like shout out to that's it thanks for the perfumes i'm loving it i'm loving it so another thing that i wanted to talk about with you were some dms that i got so this past weekend okay I was minding my business, all right? I was living my life, minding my business, and then I went on Instagram and I checked my DMs and two DMs stood out and they are worth mentioning. I'm not going to mention the names of the people I got the DMs from, but the first person just kind of talked about how they had watched one of my videos and they just really wanted to encourage me and let me know that I'm doing well. They made a statement that struck me. They said that, you're not just making YouTube content. Something along the lines of, you're not just making YouTube content. Yours is a ministry. And I was like, ah. Mm. Mm. You know, it is a ministry. Like I always say, 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 it's not play, it's purpose, you know. It is ministry. It is for the gospel of Christ. It is for the kingdom of God. Um, do I desire more from it to earn, you know, comfortably like my colleagues and even much more than they are earning? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, I cannot lose sight of the fact that, you know, there are people who get blessed one way or another through my content, which is priceless. That's not something you can place a figure on, right? So that person just really was a very long message, but I was so encouraged by the time I was done within that message and I let them know. But what was interesting was that I got a similar message from someone else. Someone, like, I'm sure these two people don't know each other. Someone completely different. And they were talking about how they were randomly thinking of me and they thought to themselves, like, ah, I didn't care. Suppose don't blow past this now, you know. But then their spirit convicted them and, you know, helped them to realize that it's, you know, the the, the race is not to the swift, you know. The, <laughs> the race is not to the swift, you know, just like the Bible says. And you just have to look at, you know, the big picture and look at what God is doing. And that really hits me because that's something I've said to myself before. Four. like ah, i suppose don't blow past this but god did <laughs> you know it's something i've said to myself before so hearing that person say it, but the person wasn't saying it in a mean way you know the way again trying to encourage me and just lift up my spirit and it was so random because it wasn't like i posted anything saying oh i was down or i was in the moon i think it was just god realizing that i needed some sort of encouragement do you get what i'm saying i think I, it was just god that I mean, of course, in, he sees our hearts, he sees our spirits, he, he knows what's going on with us per time. And he knew I really, really needed that tender, loving, you know, care from these people at that particular time. And it really touched me. You know, I got teary because it was like back to back. And I, I got teary, I became, became emotional. And I was just like, wow, like, thank you, Jesus. I'm encouraged. You know, my spirit is lifted. I'll keep pushing. I would not, you know, break down. I would not become overwhelmed you know and i really really appreciate it i don't take it for granted i know and you know why i don't take it for granted is because i know we are all living different lives and we're all busy with our lives and everyone has their own struggles or everyone have their own struggles and all of that and um you know for them to take that time out of their lives my son is back <laughs> for them to take time out of their lives to send me that kind of message it really meant a lot so if you're watching this video i'm grateful thank you i'm grateful for you that is watching TV. Hey, TV. Bye -bye, TV. is it our people why are you saying tv is it tv or people tv the hell of people come let me see your eyes Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I put it in your mouth. Huh? I don't want to. It's okay, baby. I don't want to. It's okay. I'll, I'll. Oh, uh, Drinking the water. <laughs> now, this is what you call dinner of champions. <laughs> dinner of champions, that's the best way to describe it. Whilst my family members were eating, I was folding laundry and trying to clean up and all of that. So I didn't get to eat, but now that the chairman, that's our son, has gone to bed, I can just eat a little, very, you see, very little rice, that's chicken breasts, some carrots, and cauliflower. That is dinner. <laughs> can you now see why I said I don't like putting this thing here? Can you, like, it's just sitting there. <laughs> very hot. It's very, very hot. Yummy, in the yummy ASMR. <laughs> Don't lie, this is arguably the most random vlog you have ever watched. Watched? Let's just pretend that that didn't happen. But as I was saying, this is arguably the most random vlog you have ever watched on this platform. <laughs> I have this song in my head. God, you are great. You are greatly to be praised. For it did happen as you thought, come bye bye, thank you. That's Moses Bliss, right? Nah, and some other people. Stuck. That's when you stuck here. This cauliflower is one of the most interesting one of the most interesting vegetables I've ever eaten. Because it doesn't have taste. Like literally. It has zero. Does anyone eat this? Let me know, let us know in the comments and confirm what I'm talking about. It has no taste. It's like water. And I know water has taste, like, well, depends on the type of water you're drinking. But this one, even broccoli still has more taste than this one. Like flavor. Like nothing. It's just like nothing. <laughs> That's why I don't mind eating it. Because like it's not it's not that it's not sweet, it just doesn't have a taste. Thanks for eating dinner with me. 
let me leave you with this. If you think my consistency has been a bit off this past couple of weeks, um, if you think my vlogs have been a bit off this past couple of weeks, don't because of that disappear. Persevere. Stick around. Okay? <laughs> Good night. <laughs>